Hey everybody, I'm Butch Harbin. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel this week. This week, I've got my very first guest on the Butch Harbin channel. This is Miss Echo Gillette. Say hi, Echo. Hi, how are you guys? I'm so excited. Echo decided to stop by because, uh, first of all, she's, uh, she's a friend. And thank you very much for just being a friend. It's nice to have friends, you know what I mean? But uh, Echo has some questions for me. I mean, you uh, yes. now, I, I, you told me that you've grown up watching some stuff that I've done, correct? Absolutely, yes. And, and did you watch Fairly Odd Parents? Oh, I was obsessed with Fairly Odd Parents. I like Obsessed. Obsessed I love, is good. Yes, Obsessed is good. <laughs> but uh, personally, I was even more obsessed with Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. He's like, Danny Phantom is a fantastic cartoon. If you haven't seen it, which would be surprising, you should watch it because it's an amazing cartoon. Very cool. She's huge on YouTube right oh, now. So check out her channel. Such a compliment. But I think it's great, and I think you've got this awesome um, uh, presence on YouTube now which is wonderful and very cool and thanks for being here yeah, thank you so much for having me I'm excited what do you want to talk about well I have a couple questions that I want to ask you because I do have a very large um, young artist following and I'm sure they have a lot of questions and so I kind mm. of want to just I speak on their behalf in some ways and just get pick your brain a little bit. Maybe I hope I can answer these questions. I'm not going to be too hard. Are they, are they multiple syllable questions? They, they might be multiple choice. This is really hard. It's always a very hard thing for me. Ooh. It's exciting for me because you're like a fan and I'm yeah. always excited to meet the fans and, and hear what they have to say or, or if they're curious if I can answer questions. Should I have a lawyer present? Um, you might want to just uh, have him on speed I'm dial. Speed, I'm speed yeah. dial. Speed dial the lawyer. I have a massive selection of art tools and I've actually made an entire video going through all of my art equipment, mm. uh, explaining to people what exactly it is that I use to make my artwork. Mm -hmm. Do you have any like special tips or tricks or secret tools that I can add uh, to my that is a I don't have it here with me, but I draw on a, a digital tablet. It's, it's a Wacom yeah. tablet. It's a mm -hmm. big, giant one. I draw on that for sure. And people who watch my videos regularly can see that. But I draw on that all the time. Which and that. I think Photoshop uh, is fantastic to draw on. I work in Toon Boom a lot now, which is a storyboard program. Okay. Working that. Photoshop is my main thing I work yeah. in. Photoshop too. is a skill that you need to learn. Photo if you guys can learn Photoshop or Flash, I don't work in Flash myself, mm -hmm. but Flash, if you're a young animator and you really want to do your own stuff, Flash is key, key, key to learn Flash. But before you do any of that, you guys have got to learn how to draw first. And the way to do that is I just really, these are my basic tools for drawing is, is a a sketch pad and a pen because you can throw anything away no one else has to see it it doesn't have to go anywhere unless you put it online but it's just you know if you, my sketch pad here just has thousands and thousands of drawings in it really amazing and, ju and just stuff that i just i just do oh there was a danny fan in there look at that and then just all kinds of stuff um it just and only you'll see it and and you're your own critic so don't ever be afraid but learn how to draw here so then when you get that fancy tablet with the photoshop and stuff mm -hmm. you can really really excel in that too. You know what I have though? I have an iPad Pro, which is yeah. not super cheap, but it's it's like maybe for your birthday, you know, ask somebody. But like an iPad Pro, they have a program on there called Procreate and you can oh, I, think I know this. It's really cool. I know this Procreate which you speak. I know, mm, I know this Pro anyway. And I've got a couple videos out there. I, I drew an Iron Man. You can find it on my Tumblr page and uh, there's like I drew a Danny Phantom. I don't know if uh, you're following you on Tumblr. I uh, need to do that. Tumblr, yeah, follow me on Tumblr. There's a link in the description. I'm forcing you to put a link in the description. And tell I have a very cool Tumblr page. A lot of things from your childhood are on there, so I think you really like it. How, it's, it's going to be a very interesting question, how do you deal with all of the Danny Phantom fangirls? Because he has quite a few fangirls. Danny, oh you know what, I, uh, I'm i thrilled Danny has so many uh, fangirls. And I, I think it's great, because it's funny, when I was designing him years ago, uh, I had Timmy Turner already, uh, and Timmy is a 10 year old boy. And I wanted to make Danny older, because like, you know, Timmy Turner is like worried about birthdays and bikes and ice cream and stuff like that, but Danny now is worried about the school dance and, you know, do I look cool, am I a nerd? I mean, he's in that adolescent phase, and so we wanted to make Danny, obviously, older than Timmy. But I wanted to make him good looking, because I didn't want him to have fans. Yeah. So did I, did I succeed in that? Yes, yes, very much. <laughs> we succeeded yes. in that. You know? When I was a teenager, he was like one of my favorite characters ever, and you can see, you can see your style slightly echoed in like some of my sketchbook tours. Every now and then you'll see very drawings cool. that have like, little hints of your style. It's through people like you that keep the show alive in people's memories because the show, we did four awesome seasons. Yeah. We're thrilled to have done them. Uh, I don't own the rights to the show though. I sold them to Nickelodeon. So it's up to Nickelodeon to make more episodes. And so hopefully they will someday. But in, in the meantime, I keep Danny alive on Instagram. Uh, yeah. I, I, have a, I have a new Instagram I just started called Butch Hartman Sketchpad. He's on there. And uh, we're on Tumblr. I do things on Snapchat all the time. Oh, Snapchat's so. fantastic. I love Snapchat. But the way I deal with all the fangirls is I keep giving them as much Danny as I can. That's what, yeah. I, that's what I do. So 
Danny Phantom's amazing. If you have not seen the show, please go watch it. It's a very <laughs> strong part of my childhood and teenager. Could Let me ask you a question. What yeah, is it sure. about Danny Phantom that is so compelling? I'm very oh, curious. Um, there's a lot of things about Danny Phantom that like incite certain um, amounts of fangirling. Um, for starters, he's not... How do I want to say this? The stereotypical form of attraction that so many people think that teenage girls like, mm -hmm. like the strong football guy, like those aren't actually as appealing as people think they are. Mm. Danny Phantom is sweet. And I feel like that's a huge part of, I don't know, why he's so popular. Also, he has jet black hair, <laughs> <laughs> which is very cool, and also, like, glowing green eyes. Yeah, that and helps. <laughs> and he's a superhero, too. And he's a superhero. Right? <laughs> Danny Phantom has teen romance and monsters and things like that that appeal to a lot of people, you know. It's not really necessarily a dark show, though. It's not really a dark no, thing. Really. It's a, there, there's... You could have gone a lot darker with it. I mean, I mean, not saying you should have, but uh, you could have, and it probably would have been... I don't know if it would have been. No, you did a good job. Okay, I, I it's, like what you did. It's a good like job. Well, see, I look at it like this. Danny is the light coming into the darkness, and he's like, yeah. he's like saving people. That's what superheroes do is they save people. That's kind of what I was, I was going for. I actually made a video on my channel where I talked about the top ten cartoon crushes that I had when I was a teenager, <laughs> and right. he was in this, and a big part of it was the fact that he had black and white hair. There we go. Was just fantastic. Was and he blue number? Eyes was he? Was eyes. he number? Was he number one? I think he was what number. But Two they people weren't. Beat out Danny. No, they, it wasn't in chronological order. Oh, okay. Oh, got it. Got it, it was in no particular order. Oh, that's good to know. With Danny, I think it's it's something I think appeals a lot of people too because it's that adolescent thing going through that awkward yeah. stage, and, and he doesn't really know how he's, to use his he's powers. He's a very human character. Mm -hmm. Like you did just a fantastic job of the overall character design of Danny Phantom. So you know what? If you guys love Danny Phantom, let Nickelodeon know. Uh, I certainly yes. know your love for it. Please keep letting me know. I'd love Please to just keep like doing swarm more. at Nickelodeon and let them know that we need to bring Danny Phantom. <laughs> Back. Absolutely. Okay, now, um, in honor of Echo being my first guest ever, hopefully we'll have other guests, but you're the first one ever, I will do a drawing of the week for you. This week's drawing of the week is going to be suggested by Echo Gillette, so we want me to draw for you. Anything you can think of that I'm able to draw. What is the name of the Toast Noog from the Noog Network? <laughs> that is the Butter Belly Noog the on Butter the Noog Belly Network. Noog. Want me to draw him for I you? I think, yes. I think I would love a drawing of the Butter Belly Noog. All right, here we go. The Butter Belly Noog. Four. Echo Gillette. Can you do one more thing out of just a personal... Uh, of course. Uh, in this little corner, can you draw a frog on a unicycle? I'm going to draw her now a frog on a unicycle. Is that what you want? Yes. A frog on a... Okay. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for watching this week. I want to thank Echo again for being here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Hey, uh, I'm psyched she was here. Thank you guys for being here as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on every form of social media known to man. And check this out. I did this drawing of Echo uh, today uh, as a Danny Phantom character. She wanted me to draw her in a Danny Phantom style. Yes. And to see how I did the drawing, check it out on her channel. Uh, where do we find the link? Down below? Down below and also right here. Right Wow, that's pretty amazing. I don't even know how that happens. That's like yes, magic. It's I'm like... a YouTube magician. Hey guys, thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.